Come on down. We've invited 20 of the world's most dim-witted partiers. Here, fellas, I'll catch up to you. To the hottest event of the year. So gear up and prepare to get smashed. <laughs> Plus, bridesmaids behaving badly. I'm gonna need another shot. And get in there. You're invited to a porta party you won't want to miss. With intoxicating commentary from our celebrity cast. If you want to get an Australian man naked, puke on him. I know it's worked for me. True TV presents World's Dumbest Partiers. And it all starts now. We kick off our countdown at a spring break dance contest in Texas. All right, first up is RJ doing a little bump and go right. Come on, RJ, woo! Oh, move on, push up! Finally, a black guy with zero rhythm. All right, next up is Tommy. Tommy looks a little like uh, Tom Cruise, right? Yeah, that's what I think. Oh, you got a little drama going on here. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're wearing a Speedo, you're pudgy, and you dance like Elaine from Seinfeld. A little bit about Tommy, lots of stuffed jalapenos and giving foot massages. When I used to go to spring break, it was all about wet t-shirt contests, hot buns contests. Who wants to see a bunch of juice heads dance around in banana hammocks? Oh, uh, he's gearing up for something here, folks. What is it? Okay, Tommy's got a big finish here. Let's see what he's got. Oh! Oh! Moses didn't part the Red Sea as fast as you parted that crowd. Here comes days of thunder time! Oh! What we didn't see on that video is the ground also tried to move out of the way. How's Tommy doing, huh? How's he doing? There you go. There you go, Tommy. Nice one. He's got his friend there. Okay, good. Yeah. Hug the pudgy guy. That'll make you cool again. All right, a big, big hand for our kid. Risky business here, all right? Our dancers. Bros before hoes, right, guys? Seriously, always. No matter what you're doing, the show must go on, period. Remember that, the show must go on. That includes your show. Here comes the Iceman! Oh, is that what they're calling? Iceman? At an outdoor concert in Australia... This partier attempts to get a better view. Yeah! Look at that doggy. He's going all the way. Oh my god, that guy's totally gonna fall. Yeah! Yes! Wait for it! I'm fighting! I'm fighting! Oh my god, he's totally st All right, maybe he's. Oh yeah! Look at my balance! Oh, uh, if only you were that skilled at climbing the corporate ladder. I'm a natural gift for sturdiness in high places! Hey, uh, has anyone up here seen my shirt? I've looked, like, literally everywhere else. I am one with the clouds, with the sky! Dude, don't do it! Don't do it! Don't tilt your head back! Behold! Uh, Coming down from a massive high is... always painful. You got to the top, everybody was loving you, but then you went on Titanic on us. I am king of the world! Oh no, no, fine, fine, I'm all right. Yeah, yeah, fine. Oh, I'm asking him with a stretch. Amazingly, the man is not seriously injured. Oh my god, it's the indestructible hippie. <laughs> oh, no! Our countdown brings us to a wedding reception in Alabama, where the bride's cousin is showing off for the crowd. Sexy lizard! Ah, back 
Let's listen. And, oh. Out of the way, bride. You are not upstaging me. <laughs> Is this wedding held on a casual Friday? Oh, that's it. Crazy legs. Ah. I finally understand why that guy in Footloose wanted to make dancing illegal. One, two, strut my stuff. Oh, and we go. Yeah. Wait, what's that? Oh. <laughs> Get it, baby. Uh, uh, uh. Sasha, Sasha, Jess, Jess, Jess. Chest, Is cousin Tony having a seizure? Oh, it's a close call. Someone put a wallet in his mouth. Hey, back it up, all of us. Up, woo! I'm on fire. <laughs> Thank God for that fountain. The only thing better would have been an open elevator shaft. Who's who's ready? Who's up for some more? You're gonna chafe. Yeah, I totally unfazed. I don't care. <laughs> Do a little squeeze, pour out a boot, run to the restroom and cry. <laughs> Look, <laughs> I got one in my shoe. When you fall into a fountain after doing your spazzy dance, just brush yourself off and wave goodbye. Oh, God. Coming up, Pool Party Express. <laughs> Plus, big man, little swing. And what's got this guy stripping in a hurry? You'll have to see it to believe it when World's Dumbest Partiers continues. At a backyard barbecue, a drinking contest is about to begin. Sunday afternoon, we've got six cruises. Fraser's getting under six minutes because he feels like it. Time it, Jay. You know, I'm not sure uh, chugging hard lemonades is girly enough. Does anyone have some pink straws I can put in here, too? A little bit of dribble, but that'd be right. That's Oh, it's raining already. A lot of people are like, why the f*** would you put a straw? That's so oxygen can get in as he's drinking, and he can drink it faster. We're running out of time. Why do they even need to set a time limit if you drink six hard lemonades in your entire lifetime? You've beat some sort of record. One to go. Can I go taste? It's good technique. Oh my god. Oh. Six cruises in three minutes. <laughs> A crotch full of someone else's vomit. Or as they call it in some establishments, a number four. <laughs> that is the funniest. That is funniest. Funny. That is a brilliant way to get a guy to take his clothes off. <laughs> Technically, he won in every way possible. He finished the challenge, and then he vomited all over the jerk that made him do it. That's a win-win. Six cruises in three minutes. <laughs> when the weather heats up, partiers head for the water. Whether it's poolside or at the lake. These slow-witted swimmers can't wait to dive in. And when landlocked blockheads can't bring the party to the water, they bring the water to the party. Okay, human slingshot, check. One foot deep pool, check. No regard for human safety, check. Okay, we're ready. Giant slip and slide, a bungee cord. I don't see how this could possibly go wrong. Next up, Valerie. Go Val! Determined to nail the landing, Valerie tries again, this time without the helmet. Go! Oh. Yay! You landed in the pool. Partial credit. Go! Thankfully, she came with her own flotation devices. Oh. Oh, you okay? More like strip and slide. Am I right? Aren't there easier ways to show off your boobs? Go! Oh. 
Val! Val, you okay? Uh, hey, I thought you might want to borrow my shirt. And, uh, hey, can I get your digits? What lady doesn't dream of meeting her knight in shining armor who will come in and cover up your unconscious titties? Oh my god, Valerie! Oh my god, oh, are you okay? What hurt? The woman walks away with only a minor concussion. Of all the ways you can possibly get a concussion, this is one of the sluttiest. An hour before his wedding, a groom discovers his best man has gotten hung up. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Those are my shins! Yo, I'm slipping, I'm slipping, I'm slipping! <laughs> now what are you doing getting your big grown ass in the baby swing? Ow! I knew he was doing that so good! When an eight-year-old knows better than you, you shouldn't probably be allowed to drive or, or vote or, or be unattended in public. We really were stuck in this. <laughs> and it hurts. Somebody get some butter and wiggle his ass out of there. No, 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 no. Ow! Yo, that hurts. Not your day. It's about the girl in the dress, okay? It's not about the chubby white guy stuck in the baby seat. Right, Don't push. I got it. Don't push. Really? You got it? Well, really? What are you trying to do? Here, let me okay. Help me find my gill. What? Groomsmen, I'd like to... What the? We got to cut it off. We got to cut it off. You got it. Peggy, get my bone saw. He's an adult stuck in a baby swing, and he's acting like he has the best ideas. Uh, you guys better hurry up. Vultures are starting to circle the swing set. Don't pull because it gets caught on my knees. Do not pull it. No, I get on my kneecap. Ah! Ah! Yo, my thighs! Ow, no, no, no! <laughs> Awfully bossy for a man who is trapped in a children's toy. Woohoo! Ow, ow, watch the shins! <laughs> oh, there, keep your feet straight. Ah. How did you? <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Hey, you lost your flower! How many groomsmen is it gonna take before we realize that these children's play sets are deadly? Oh, no, 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 pull! Is that him? Well, it was until he cut off circulation to his crotch with that baby swing. What a waste. Number 14 on our countdown takes us to a horse track in Limerick, Ireland. Between races, this festive fan makes his way back to the bar. All right, I've had a wee bit of a drink, but I'm very certain I can make it up the hit. Wait a minute. What's wrong, darling? Is the earth moving too fast for you? 78 crickets on a Christmas tree. Why can't I get up this hill? No! Come on, Nick. Ah. Come on, Petey, you can do it. You're almost at the top of the hill. Oh. All right. Hang on, Nick. Oh, for the love of Just hang. Wrist, palm, wrist, <laughs> Dude, do you not see the stairs? They're like right there. Even while incredibly drunk, though, he maintains his passion for litter control. I think I would just give up and start a whole new life at the bottom of the hill. All right, now, keep it simple, stupid. One foot in front of the other. One foot in front of the other. Drive out the drunk like St. Patrick with the stakes of Ireland. I almost got it. Here we go. <laughs> oh! The bar is so low in Ireland, you get a standing ovation for walking up a hill. Coming up, Granny's got double the trouble. What's up, trouble? Oh. Plus, from pumped up <laughs> to passed out. And 
What brings this guy's party to an all-time low? No, bro, keep going. You need that. Find out when World's Dumbest Partiers continues. Tailgate parties are a required pregame ritual. All right. <laughs> <laughs> But sometimes things get a little out of hand. We're throwing oranges! <laughs> We're throwing oranges! <laughs> Whether it's drunken tests of manhood or a good old fashioned riot, Clear the area. Everyone, out of the area. Some tailgaters let their spirit get the best of them. Take, for example, this young lady tailgating outside a USC football game. Hey, Grandma! Woo! Take it! Uh, <laughs> ah, Grandma, there's got to be an easier way to stay young and hip. Someone get her a Kindle. Take it! Yeah! Woo! You know, when I heard a senior was doing some sexy dance moves, I expected something completely different. Oh, let me get you, man. Yes, Oh, yeah. Yes, it is. While he's backing up, he should be beeping. Mm. Come on, Granny. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, I dig it. Yes, back I it up, back it up, back it up. I like that one dude who just walks through full speed. Do, 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 do. Nothing weird here. Hey, uh, hello, girlfriend. Oh, What's yeah. Up, hello, Grandma. Oh, bump it down. Bump it down, baby. And up. Out of the way. Like Grandma Shine. Okay, you can't catch any fish if you don't ask. Show them the bait. So, let's bring it, boys. Come on, who's with me? Woo! She's just having a hot flash. What's up, Grandma? Oh, yeah. Oh. And it kind of becomes a clockwork orangey Jodie Foster on a pinball machine feeling. Not good. I'm going back downtown. Hello, back there. Who's knocking? Who's knocking? Damn. If I was old, I'd hit that. Okay. Now bring it, boys. Don't be shy. Get closer. Get closer. Get closer. Get closer. Come on. Give it to me. Old people, our greatest resource. Okay, I'm going back downtown. Who's knocking on my door? With their parents away, these teens decide it's time to party. Sneaky's nice and good for you. Who are the parents that left teenagers alone with access to the bar and a blowtorch? Please do not try this at home. Mm. Mm. These are good. Doggies are good. These are good. I'm gonna make this one nice and good for it. Wait, 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 wait,
just remember this handy uh, mnemonic. Greenland is icy, and Iceland is full of idiots. When a guy's so excited to slap you, he's doing that. Yo, son! Go in! Go in! You're gonna get knocked out. I don't care how hard you slap someone, it's not a manly move. What's that song? If you're happy and you know it, slap your friend! The only thing worse than being knocked unconscious is being knocked unconscious and then dragged into a mysterious van. Double thumbs down. I don't know. I think it's good. Okay. Okay, we had fun. Let's go dispose of the body. I don't know. I think it's good. Reggae dancing is a very demanding form of expression. Oh, yeah. Shake it It requires great athletic ability. Creativity. Here we are. And the willingness to completely let loose. In short, this dance form is always unpredictable. Something the partiers at this reggae dance contest in Queens should keep in mind. Who would have taken a booty to the bed? Who would it be? If I didn't know better, I'd say this whole style of dancing is all about sex. If Whiplash gives you a boner, toss the remote out the window. You got <laughs> Okay, who's gonna be Decker? Oh, Decker Ryman. Whoa. Oh. Is she a super to an apartment building? Why does she have so many keys? Another curly number two black. Mm, yeah. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. Oh. It's okay, baby. Wait, is there a three second rule for hair? Don't be embarrassed because your hair fell off. Be embarrassed for those shorts. It's okay, it's okay. She don't win, but she's okay. Woo, there go. Coming up, a walk of shame you won't want to miss. Plus, street party crasher. Then, going down. When World's Dumbest Partiers continues. Now you can experience dumb like never before. With the World's Dumbest app. It's the best videos whenever you want them. It's free on your phone or tablet. Use the app while you watch the show. Take dumb to a whole new level. Go to the App Store and download it now. A foam sword party is an end-of-semester tradition at the University of Texas. I'm assuming they all just passed their Dungeons and Dragons exams. Foam swords, college students chanting. This is all just too weird. Are we sure Stanley Kubrick isn't directing this? One day the bus runs on time. Go figure. Hey guys, do we have like 
a school chant for when one of our friends gets flattened by a bus? You just got hit by a bus. Lay down for a minute. Remarkably, the student is not seriously injured. And he was fine. See, because you're in Texas. They just do bigger in Texas. Never bring a foam knife to a bus fight. After an all-night party, a man wakes up on the street, still drunk. When you're this drunk, even a clear sidewalk is an obstacle course. Taxi, take me to the corner of curb and gutter. <laughs> zombie, zombie. Apparently, zombie is the same in all languages. Zombie, zombie. <laughs> if all zombies were like this, it would be so cool because they're so easy to outrun. Shoot him in the head, it's a walker! <laughs> Yes, cameraman, you just outsmarted the drunkest man who's ever lived. Way to go. Okay, just give me a ride, please. Just... You, you have a ride? Get lost. Come here, you. What do you have? Come here, you. Hey, hi. Okay. Excuse me. Brains. I need brains. Taxi driver brains. Lady brains. Just brains. Can someone just knock his ass out so we can move on to the next clip? Who has what I need? <laughs> What a bummer. Not this guy, I'm talking about the Ukrainian general. Zombie, zombie. Please come in for me. We celebrate another wedding in our countdown as this Russian bride prepares to toss her bouquet. You don't want to get it? You want to get in there and maybe? No? Okay. Okay, ladies, you ready? She's going to toss on three. Okay? One, two. Guys! We're missing the bouquet toss. Yeah, you know what? Bouquet tosses are lame. Let's just go. Psych! Those photos are mine, bitches! It's a bouquet, not a billionaire. Okay, okay, let's just go to this. Just gonna win. You have help now. Okay. Okay. Oh, easy now, ladies. Don't kill each other. Don't drag her. Okay, okay. Hey, Ivan, Ivan, please, please, come here. Help me with this this catch fight. <laughs> Each gets a bouquet, okay? Uh, good job, good job. Okay, Ivan, Ivan. You both are going to f the bartender anyway, so enjoy the flowers. Okay, congratulations to me. I hope you get married at the same time because uh, it would be unfortunate for whomever doesn't if you don't. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, wait, here's the best part. Watch these two girls give each other the I still hate you hug. Okay, okay, okay. It's a tie. You both get mailed to America. It's closing time at the club, and these friends are calling it a night. Hey, it's a good time tonight, huh? Yeah. It's a nice club. I love it. Yeah. Good fellas, I'll catch up to you. I'm going to talk to this girl I just met a minute ago. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. Hey, hey, fellas, I think I found the live one here. I think she's going to come home with me. 
In his defense, have you ever walked downstairs? They take forever. I don't know, fellas. I feel lucky. Yeah. Oh. <coughs> to only fall one floor? He's kind of a genius. And guess what? She was short. No. Oh. <coughs> Are you okay? I'm okay. The club's security team calls for an ambulance, but the man is not badly injured. Let's hope the hospital gives him a room on the ground floor. Yeah, she has the look I want to know better! Oh. <laughs> Coming up, a drunk uncle goes boxing. <laughs> then, the? a partier streaks out. Oh, thank you, Baltimore! Plus, is this street party about to get busted? Find out when World's Dumbest Partiers continues. Birthdays. Once a year, every partier has one. <laughs> Acting like an idiot is actually encouraged. <laughs> it's a chance to prove you're one year older, but just as dumb as ever. At the Baltimore Orioles season opener, a fan celebrates his birthday in a very special way. What the? It's my birthday! It's my birthday, everyone! I want to see some ass. You know, you got to respect somebody that chooses their birthday to hit rock bottom. <laughs> That's a nice touch. I would have gone shopping cart, but that's just me. I can't hear you. Come on, show me the love. Easy, cops. Don't anybody show any initiative or anything. Oh, thank you, Baltimore. I love you, too. Ah, there we go. Okay, okay. Get, get. Before it gets awkward, please. Why did it take that many cops to wrangle one man in his underoos? The man is arrested and issued a lifetime ban from the stadium. Oh, take it easy, guys. It is my birthday. It's my birthday. Why would he care about a lifetime ban? He's already done the coolest thing he can do there. Check it out, check it out. Woo! Going to Lord. To get to a friend's party, these teens have just stolen a bait car. When will people learn stop stealing bait cars? Just steal regular cars. B, we're going to go get the car down. Where did you get the? I don't know. No, I saw his car with the keys inside. I opened the door and it was unlocked. I grabbed the keys. I was like, "This is a car." It was just sitting there with the doors open and the keys in it. It's like they're practically begging me to steal it. Oh my God. This is Grand Theft Auto. We can't be doing Yeah, this is awesome. If these guys were better at this, this would be a master bait car. Get it, they're teenagers and master bait. I am telling you that's funny. Let's go to Amanda's. Let's go to Amanda's. Let's go to Amanda's. Amanda don't want y'all over her house. V, please. Oh my God, there's a car behind us. Oh my God, V. There's a car just post somewhere. Oh my God, that's a cop. That's a cop. That's a cop. Bait cars have kind of taken the joy out of joy rides. I can't believe we did this for you. You're stupid as I know, though. I love you guys. You guys don't have to say your goodbyes like it's Thelma and Louise. I love you guys. I love you guys. You're just getting arrested. Get your hands up! Let me see your hands! Get your hands up! Let me see you pull up! Um, officer... Get your hands up! Let me see your hands! Can you please still drive us to Amanda's house? I'm not gonna ask you again. Put your hands up, V. Put your hands up, V. V, put your hands up. Put your hands up, V. I don't want to get arrested without my shirt on, dog. I look silly. Put your hands up. Oh, we're going to jail. I know. The teens are taken into custody and charged with auto theft. You're gonna learn how to party in jail with people who really know how to party. V, we're going to go to jail. Get out of the car now. <laughs> Partiers have a nasty habit of overestimating their abilities. They love finding ways to prove no challenge is too big. 
or too dumb. Take it, take it. It'll make it a little bit better. This uncle is found throwing a party for one in the family kitchen. Oh, he's found in the... There are no two words in the English language that are scarier in combination than drunk and uncle. We've got so many drunk uncles in my family, we've actually condensed the word to drunkle. This drunkle has found a unique way to keep himself entertained. <laughs> So you do it. All the way to the top. All the way to the top. I hold it in my hand. Listen to me. I am your drunk Uncle Wade. I know a great deal about physics, so I can deal with these boxes. Okay, okay, okay. If he was four years old, this would be very appropriate. Oh, he got it. <laughs> the man cuts his chin, but is otherwise uninjured. All my nieces and nephews. See? I'm not that bad. <laughs> At a busy intersection in Lithuania. Look out, look out. Two intoxicated men play in traffic. Lithuania's Occupy movement is really struggling. We're not moving until public transit becomes more affordable to the poor. Nah, just kidding, we're drunk. Based on their clothing, they've been sitting there since the 90s. Look at this bus. Mercedes. Good bus. Stay sitting. Stay, stay. I am not going to be made late by boy with hacky sack head. Okay, pretty girl. Why don't you get back on bus, okay? We're just having fun here. Other motorists decide to help clear the road. Hey! You get out of here, bus! Get out of here! Boy, come here! Get out of here! Get Funny how a punch to the back of the hip can often be the most persuasive argument. Hey, Roadblockers finally take their party elsewhere. Why are you so mean to us? Shut up! If Shirley Partridge had been driving that bus, that man would be dead now. I'm on fire! You've just seen party fouls from 19 of the world's most insane revelers. But the most pinheaded party of all is about to make an entrance. <laughs> Find out who it is right after this. <laughs> Our number one clip takes us back to spring break in Texas. And this guy has an interesting offer for this guy. That photo party right there, you get in and I clip it over, I'll give you a hundred bucks. hundred bucks? Yes. yes. Okay? Yes, let's do it. Okay, when a guy who looks like Charlie Sheen's sketchy cousin offers you money for anything, run. hundred bucks? Yes. Okay? Yes, let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. You're a man. Come on. Every man has his price. I mean, mine will be a little higher, but not as high as you think. hundred dollars for what? You get inside this box right there, the plastic one, yep. and I tip you over. Let's go inside. No, no, mommy's yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You've heard of blood money. This is poop money. Hey, can I get another $60, please? $60. Can I get 10 10 from anyone? Someone's going to cover this up and take all my money. All right, all right, I'm going to need some more money. Come on, people, dig deep, for Christ's sakes. It's nice to know that this is the kind of thing that a community can really gather around and fundraise for. The deal is made for $85. All right, you guys ready? Get in there. All right, get in. Get in there. Hey, hey, are you watching this? Lock the door, light, 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 light. Trust me, dude, you're not gonna want lights. Hey, get a, get a shot of this guy one last time. One, two, three. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Oh, oh, oh. God. 
No. No. I am so happy right now that we can't smell TV. You are badass! You are badass! What's that on his shoulder? Is that a tattoo or is that dookie? The putrid partier walks away with his winning. I have $85. Yeah, you have $85. Oh, and hepatitis A through C in your mouth. All right, four. All right, ladies, the wedding's over. That means it's time to divvy up the groomsmen. I call not it on the guy in the baby suite. Not it. Not. Oh, damn it. Fine. But I'm going to need another shot. Mm -hmm. I, I have Cousin Tony. When I saw him dancing, it really made me want it. Do the worm. If you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. I Ew. I mean, oh. To weddings. And the dumb things that happen at them. To, to the worm. worm. Weddings. Drink.